All right, welcome back for another box break on Bonfire Breaks. Uh, I appreciate everyone entering into the last giveaway. Um, so I will be dropping that video in here. So um, we're gonna open up though a Dungeons and Dragons Adventures in the Forgotten Realms set box today. Uh, it was pretty cool. I know it's not the most valuable set. It doesn't have like the biggest cards um, just cause it's got those like dungeon mechanics and things like that, but it's still a very fun set to break, you know, with all the dragons, the the cool lands, like the the bugbear and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, uh, just before you know, before we jump into this, uh, here's the giveaway winner, and make sure that you reach out to me via uh, Instagram, Twitter, or on here. Thanks. All right, would like to thank everyone for participating in this giveaway. Uh, we are going to get straight to the winner. Uh, if you'd like to be part of these giveaways, just make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Ring the bell so that you can see when giveaways are going on. But we do have 11 comments. Let us get our winner. Winner is Brett Phillips. I like the uh, picture here with a little duck on the hat. Need Medusa's head to stop all this cracking. Uh, thanks for the comment, like, and subscription to the channel. Uh, reach out to me and I'll get that card to you. Thanks. All right. Uh, thank you for participating in that. Uh, we will be doing another giveaway because there was such a good turnout. We will do another one for this video. I uh, appreciate everyone coming out, showing some love on the comments, the likes, some shares. Uh, definitely appreciate it. It goes a long way on the channel. So stay tuned to the next giveaway in this video. But yeah, let's jump right into this. I opened up one of these already. I actually don't remember if I posted a video for it. I think that one was just with some friends, so. But some really cool stuff in here. I remember getting the foil borderless red dragon out of it, the like star mountain or something like that. Uh, that was pretty cool. That was probably the highlight of it. Um, I'm glad they went away from these boxes where, you know, cause I sometimes like to store them in here for the time being and you got this like gap, but they did away with that. So that's cool. I think the art is very awesome on the box. I think that's pretty cool. Let's just show that in there. All right. Oh. There we go. But yeah, let's get into it. For those of you who have opened this set before, let me know what you like best out of it. Uh, we got this little art card. Mountain. Pretty familiar with these commons and uncommons. You know, it's not the newest set, so a lot of this has been open. Uh, Mun class is pretty cool for a first rare. Ranger class is pretty awesome. I, I like the Ranger. I like the <laughs> Paladin. <coughs> uh, anything that gives you like counters is pretty cool. It's a cool little like mountain. Planes. Ooh, so we got a black dragon, uncommon, flying 4-4 four, four for 7. Uh, when black dragon enters battlefield, target creature an opponent controls gets a minus 3, minus 3 until end of turn. That's a pretty cool one. <laughs> Speaking of paladin classes, yeah, so for one, you're already getting it on there. Uh, your opponent's, spells your opponent's cast during your turn costs one more to cast, so pretty good anti-blue. Uh, for three creatures you control, get plus one, plus one. And then for five, whenever you attack until end of turn, target attacking creature gets plus one, plus one for each other attacking. So, you know, pretty cool for like a human's deck or something like that. That'll do it. Oh, and we got a mythic borderless Imrith the Desert Doom for five. Uh, flying, it has ward four as long as it's untapped. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. Then you... Then if you have fewer than three cards in hand, draw cards equal to the difference. So nice little draw engine there. <clears throat> Sign of Stigma. Uh, Brink of Madness is our first set card, set list. It's uh, during your upkeep, if you have no cards in hand, sacrifice Brink of Madness and target opponent discards his or her hand. That's pretty cool. I like that. We'll put that there. I mean, what, two packs in, we've got a set card, 
We've got two borderless. It's making out to be a good box if we keep this up. A little nasty like jellyfish thing. The Minotaur. Minotaur's gonna get fucked up, it looks like. Is that a crab maybe? Maybe a jelly crab? Really hoping to get a Tasha's Hideous Laughter. I love that card. Oh, got another mythic here, the Deck of Many Things. Do a lot of rolling to get some effects. Oh yeah, that, that art's cool. I'm a dragon, little red dragon. Foil Swamp. Volo, Guide to Monsters. Whenever you cast a creature spell that doesn't share a creature type with a creature you control or a creature card in your graveyard, copy that spell. Oh, and then we've got this little alt art rare. The Silvery Moon Ranger. I love the this foiling, how it's just like in the background there. One of the cooler foiling, foilings. It also doesn't make the card curl as much doing that. Sometimes the best foils are the ones with the least amount of foil where it just highlights certain parts of the card. So I think they need to go back to that than just printing on a full foil piece of paper of the card stock, you know? Uh, true Polymorph. Artifact or creature becomes a copy of another artifact or creature. Nice little foil in there. Alright, kind of slowed down after those first two packs, but thought we had like a god box here at, at some moment. A little mana core. Dragon's Fire. Bag Holding Rogue Class. Any of you that play the, uh, what was it, Demir Rogues deck? This is not like a staple in it. Get you some more cards. Little ranger, and then boo. I never understood that card, but I mean, the art's cool. Who doesn't love a hamster? A legendary hamster. Some Poseidon stuff there. Foil Island, that's cool. I love to get the foil lands. Well, this might be a loaded pack here. Juan T. Mallison, can't be blocked as long as it's attacking alone. <clears throat> Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, venture into the dungeon. Westgate Regent, flying, I love Ward. I think Ward's a cool mechanic. Discarding a card. Whenever it deals damage to a player, put that many plus one, plus one counters on it. And we got a Paladin Shield Foil and a Skeleton Token. They just released a couple spoilers for Kawagami Neon, Neon Kawagami, I guess. This set looks pretty interesting. Oh, we got something nice here. Temple of the Dragon Queen. That's cool. I think the modules were actually a good idea. At first, I, I was hating on it a little bit. I'm not going to lie. But I saw them in person. They actually look pretty cool. Treasure Vault. Getting some... Treasure tokens, leather armor, only one in this card, but yeah, Kawagami. Um, I think the coloring is really cool. It's going to be interesting if they bring back Ninjutsu, um, what was the other one, Bush Bushido, uh, some cool mechanics. I think they should at least bring one of those back. The Evolving Wilds. Uh, I never played the old one, but I like the cards. I've seen the cards for sure. The Hobgoblin Bandit Lord. Just boosting some gobos. The Book of Exalted Deeds is our next mythic. At the beginning of your end step, if you gain three or more life this turn, create a 3-3 three, three white angel. Uh, pay three and tap. Exile the Book of Ex Exalted Deeds. Put an enlightened countered on target angel. It gains you can't lose the game and your opponents can't win the game. 
That's dope. Never even knew, knew that. We got another list card here. The Moldervine Reclamation for five. Whenever a creature you control dies, you gain one life and draw a card. That's pretty cool. This was what? I think the elf that like taps for three green or something. Strong, strong card. Foil Forest. Cave of the Frost Dragon. Is this where it like, I don't know. I thought this was the, it's the dragon that turns into an equipment, right? Check for the traps. Ah, <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me there. Little party combo. Probably discussing what uh, what quests they're gonna take. Hulking bugbear. Guy's a beast. Dungeon descent. Neverwinter dryad. A spider token. Probably about halfway through this. I'm sold on this. I think this has been a good box. Got some nice rares. Got some, we got two of the uh, borderless. I think usually you only get one. So that's a little bonus. Guild Thief. Druid class. Weird that that one's not a rare when all the other ones are. Uh, Hive of the Eye Tyrant. You come to a river. I play D&D with a couple friends. Um, it's interesting. It's fun. Uh, I've tried to, to be the dungeon master before. Uh, it's just a lot of work. It's a lot more work than I expected it to be. So, you know, the game's kind of on pause for a while. But the set is fun. I understand why it's not, you know, the most exciting or expensive set. But it's got a lot of cool cards. Some cool mechanics. Ooh, we got a foil rare. Uh, three, two for three. Whenever a creature you control becomes blocked, you may return it to its owner's hand. Whenever one or more creatures you control deal combat damage to a player, draw a card. That's pretty cool. Ooh. Little spoil. Red dragon. Fire Breath. When it enters the battlefield, it deals four damage to each opponent. It's pretty cool. So we've gotten three dragons like that. Wow. Talk about a red pack right here. Barbarian. The Barbarian Horde. Uh, that is a gladiator reference if you don't know. Jesus. So we got Dragon Turtle as our rare. Swarming Goblins. So Bloody Ghosts. It comes into play with a minus one, minus one counter on it. All right, all right, that's not that great. But look at this pack. Just all red. Blood red. Oh, I didn't realize I put the rare there. Some wizardry. Ooh, what's that? What is that? Is that that Spider Queen, maybe? I don't know, it's the last card though, so maybe it's actually just a really cool token. Hand of Vecna. Beginning of combat in your turn, equip creature or a creature you control named Vecna gets plus X plus X until on a turn where X is the number of cards in your hand. Pay one life for each card in your hand to equip or equip for two. The Inspiring Bard. Yeah, okay. It's just that. I've been trolled. These packs are opening like quite well. That little gelatinous cube. Man, imagine being like sucked into that and just knowing you're going to die. Like, do you just die instantly? Do you suffocate? Is it like drowning then? I, I don't know. Do you know? Hulking bugbear. 
score. If you would create one or more treasure tokens, instead create those tokens plus an additional treasure token. Ooh, banger. This is actually my third Mordecai. Uh, second foil, though. He's a beast. I don't understand why he's not higher up on the list. Maybe because of the six mana cost and he's blue. But he's a beast. That dog illusion token can go a long way. Blink Dog, Druid Class. Orcus, Prince of Undeath. Provides weaponry. Haven't hit Planeswalker. Not yet, at least. Ooh, the Beholder. Beast. Royal of Pack Leader, that's a monster in uh, standard. Seething Song for three, add five red to your mana pool. That is a sweet card. There's Dark Ritual, or was it one for three or something like that, or two for three? That's three for five. Adult Gold Dragon. Flying Lifelink Haste, 4-3. Then we got the Fire Giant. Pretty cool. Oh, man. This was a three beast of a pack. So we got a rare, a rare, and then a foil mythic alt art monster, 10-10. It has haste and ward 10 as long as it was cast. Whenever it attacks, it fights target creature defending player controls. That's a boost. Just get it out there to kill something quite quick. Charm to sleep. Come on, Tasha's. Dang. Mind flayer. Still good. You happen on a glade. Why do elves talk with like such mystery, but like like so much knowledge in their voice. Metanova Tavon. Triumphant Adventurer. Human Knight 1-1. One, one. Death Touch. Ooh. Death Touch. Sylvan Shepherd. Alright, we're just on the last row here. What is that? 12 more boosters, I think. The Blink Dog. Swamp. Hall of Storm Giants. Now this is getting, if you play blue on Arena, you have to have this in there. <laughs> it's almost like a mandatory. Like the game doesn't let you play blue unless you have Hall of uh, Storm Giants in there. I just automatically assume you're going for that win con. Ah, there we go. Was that Lightning Bolt? That was casting. Warlock class. Tasha's Hideous Laughter. All right. I'm really happy with this box now that we got this. For three, each opponent exiles cards from the top of their library until that that player exiles cards with total mana, mana value 20. One rare. Well, now we got a Mythic. Oh, oh, another beastly pack. Uh, we got Xanathar, the Guild Kingpin, the Beholder. And then Hannah Vecna, Foil Rare. That's tight. That's tight. Sun underground. The battle hammer. The Bob class. Minimus, minimus, minimus containment. Right, our little fold didn't work now. Now that we're getting to these final packs. Uh... 
Uh, let's get to there. The Instrument of the Bods, Harold Hader, or Hadar. Ooh, a little auto there. The Red Dragon, Barbarian Class, Den of the Bugbear. I think this is like one of the most valuable cards in the set. I think. Then we got Blight Sickle for two equip two. A creature equip creature gets plus one plus zero and has wither. So when it dies, it comes back with a minus one, minus one count. Uh, you have a little like one one card when it comes back. It it draws, but then it dies. I'm talking to you, you little elf. Got what it's called. But there's that elf that comes in and draws you a card. I'm going to just set these here for now. Treasure chest. Little foil alt mythic. All right. This is one of our final three packs. And then we'll get to the giveaway. If you made it this far, make sure you like, subscribe to the channel. Um, share it to your friends. Let them know that I like to give stuff away. I help you help me. How about that? Eyes of the Beholder. We got another Tarask, Mythic, it's pretty cool, pretty cool. That's a freaking monster, man. This is what the corn or Xcorn. Dancing Sword, the Archfiend Devil God. Ooh, a hit of the box. Hulking bugbear. Three, three for three. That has haste. <laughs> Just losing a swing on something. All right, last pack magic. Gelatinous cube. Art. Mimic. Evolving wilds. Cleric class. A last rare Varus Silvery Moon Ranger. And a worn power stone. All right, that's actually a really cool uh, list card. Goes in like most commander decks, so definitely useful for me. All right, <clears throat> in terms of the giveaway, I have got some promo cards here. My LCS was nice enough to lend me. Um, so we're gonna, these are going to be the next couple giveaways. So what we're going to do is comment down below. Um, your favorite card out of these and if you get selected uh, you will win that card but you do have to make sure that you like the video you subscribe to the channel and then comment which card so we got Geislet snare promo from Cal time Mindstone promo the dominating vampire from Cal time I think that's, yeah. Maybe that's Cal then. Um, Felstinger promo. And then Vorpal Sword. And I know this one's from the dungeon one. So, yeah. Again, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment which one of these cards you would want to receive. All right. Thanks, guys.